Okay. So number two. What do you want to do? First of all, I need a graph, right? An X and Y axis. Okay, negative three, positive four. So this is always going to be the opposite. This is not going to be an opposite. Up or down? Up. Is it going to be a right angle? Yes. So each of them are going to be at 45 degrees because there's no number right here. Okay, if there was a number right here, that would tell me my slope in each direction. Okay, so I'm gonna go over one, whoop, one, two, three, the negative direction, and then up one, two, three, four. That's gonna give me my vertex. Because this is positive, it's gonna go up. Because there isn't a slope right here, it's gonna be at 45 degrees this way and 45 degrees that way. I don't need to do a t-graph, I could. Okay, I would start with negative three. Negative three plus three is zero, take the absolute value of that, add four. Negative two. Negative two plus three is one, take the absolute value of that, plus four is five. Uh, negative four. Negative four plus three is negative one. Take the absolute value of that. I get positive one plus four is five again. That's where I get those coordinates. Because I've now got that one, that one about, and that one about. And that's just the integer. I could put in the, the decimals and fractions in between and connect those points. Does that make sense? Number three. Okay. Um. Number four. Chase, Mr. Vance, you're laughing at me, you make me think my zipper's down or something. That's not why I'm laughing at you. Maybe it should be. No, not that. Make me, my ears are on backwards. <laughs> you do have pretty good ears, I've never noticed that. <laughs> Are your ears on backwards? Are your ears on normal? Hi, child. It doesn't have your ears on backwards. Doesn't matter. Huh? As long as you can read it, though. Okay, number three. Okay, the vertex is positive one, negative two. Positive one, negative two. Now what? Down because of this. simple. Now, Olivia, what's different about this? We know it's going to have a vertex at 
Make it 15, make it 37. Good morning. Is that mid thigh? Barely. Just that. Negative 15, negative 37. to have it when, perfectly to scale. Wouldn't it be positive if you made it 37 and you just the, the thing would go down? This is going to be, I'm going to take the opposite, so that's negative. Are you taking opposite because of the, the Don't take the opposite. Uh, are you taking the opposite because of the, the, the minus sign? As a no, positive. because it's in the absolute value. Just like over here. Okay, I took the opposite here. But isn't the absolute value 15, 15? The opposite of positive 15 is negative 15. I just don't understand why you took the opposite because it's in the absolute value. Now say that again. I don't understand why you took the opposite of 15. Because, because it's inside value. the parentheses. Because this is what's going to make, I, I have to make this inside. Because it's inside the parentheses, I always take its opposite. So if I have a positive 15, I'm going to put in a negative 15. All right, you didn't do that before. So yeah, I did. I swear you didn't. You didn't take the opposite of uh, one of the earlier equations. What, 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 what was the problem? Read it to me. One or two? Oh, no, two number two. Y two. equals parentheses. Y equals? Parentheses. Another little thing. X plus three. Absolute value and then plus four. So what numbers did I take? My it's plus four. Take? Plus four. I put negative three, negative four. The nice. Well, it's plus four. It's not plus negative four. four. Oh, is that not? No, so this was plus. plus four? Yeah. So I don't take an opposite on that. How but I do inside here. here. Why would you if it's an absolute value already? It's just going to be three. I'm, just <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, if that's true, then my entire thing is wrong. And that's just going to piss me off. Well, you're allowed to fix it. Okay, yeah. As long as you fix it up here, that's what's more important. Okay, well, I feel like that's crap, but okay. Nobody's perfect all the time. Now, Olivia, did I did I have to draw all those little tick marks? No. Did I have to draw all these? No. Okay. Negative. Does it have to be drawn perfectly to scale? No, this is a sketch. I'm done. Okay. Better, better late than never. Hello. Hi, can you say Carson Jeffrey to me with his stuff? Carson Jeffrey? Do you know Carson Jeffrey? Not that I know of. Oh. Okay. Uh, Carson <laughs> Foster. Counselors don't get me. Okay. Number, what are we on? Five? Okay, yeah. y equals absolute value of 3x plus 4. Now, what do I know already there? Okay, it's going to be negative, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm going to sure. take an opposite. Plus, so we'll make it simple. Let's go 1.2. Okay, I just can do it because I don't know. So, but to find my x coordinate, I'm just going to go 3x plus 4 equals 0. And I'm going to solve that right there so I can find my x coordinate. That's minus 4, minus 4. Minus 4, minus 4. 3x equals negative 4. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So my x coordinate is negative 4 thirds. Okay? You should keep looking at me. Because <laughs> you're the one who's questioning my judgment. I am questioning your judgment. Okay, my y coordinate is. 
20.2. So now I graph it. Now if I, let's see, I, I, if I, I can do it this way, let's see my x coordinate, okay, my y coordinate. I don't have to draw them with tick marks. So this is negative four thirds. And this one is 1.2, so approximately there. I'm done. Negative four thirds, positive 1.2. So I found out you have a little sister, right? Is she nicer than you? <laughs> you notice I changed it? I did. Okay. I'm aware. I am aware. <laughs> Does it? That's my x coordinate. Why? Owen? Yes. What's my x coordinate? Is it solved? When it's solved, you just want what it is right now. I, I want to know where to put the vertex. Alright, well, we got to start with 2x minus 5. And we got to equal it to 0. Okay, Michael. does it? Do that? Michael. Keep going, Owen. Okay, then you add five to both sides, and then you do that thing, but that thing. Two, you do that magical thing that we do. Magic. This isn't magic. This is math. So my x coordinate is going to be? Uh, five over two. Five halves. Two and a half. Five halves? Is that a cool sound cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just wanted to sound cooler. <laughs> two and a half, five halves, same thing. Oh, oh. 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. That's not a magic. That's not pixie dust. This is rough. I really don't understand. Okay. Now I can go over here and say this is 5 halves. Oh, so when it's 5, 2, it's not what, yeah, like 5, oh, it's not like over 5, up 2. It's it literally works. 5. Like okay, let's do it this way. It 1, flip, 2, two right? 3, 4. So I'm going over 2 and a half. Oh, would it flip to this an absolute value? The negative five? No, because whatever I solve here is what it is. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's going to pass well. Cause this is going <laughs> to, this will change it. That will change it? Okay. Okay, this will make it go down. Mm -hmm. Okay, plus seven. Okay, over two and a half, up seven. Down 25 degrees. I'm done. Yes, sir. Do you see where we're kind of getting confused? Because whenever it's like over there, it's an x plus 5, you would like flip it. So on the graph, it would be minus 5. But if we do it, if it's like that, then we don't switch it. Yeah. I did switch it. There's a negative sign, so it became positive. No, but it it's became... positive, so it became negative. Oh, okay. So in, even in the simple ones when it's like x plus four, if you put it in an x plus four, it would oh. switch. If it w when it was before, when it was x plus four inside there, my x coordinate would be negative. Negative. negative four. Okay, okay. I was confused because when you taught us this last time, I did not remember you teaching me that at all, and so I was like, I think he's lying to me, and I think he just wants to make me mad. <laughs> well, Chase, if I did that, <laughs> I'm human. I made mistakes before. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Are you still in her for good or? No. Just for a minute? Yeah. Okay. 
Tell her to get some shorts on longer. <laughs> right? Nurses aren't quite anesthetized. They're close, but not quite. Okay. Didn't I teach this the same way last time, Brooke? No, you did. You don't remember. That's why we go over it again. Oh, you're saying, yeah, I still think you flipped it, so. That's why we go over it again. See if I'm doing it right. See if you're listening right. Okay, I, I get it. See, last time you only listened with the left ear. Now you're listening with both ears. <sighs> no, it's not that. Last time you were here. Today is Wednesday, so the last time you were here would be Monday. Well, I, I, I would hope just because you got a year older, it didn't change. Okay, we're on... Seven. We're on seven, that's what I thought. I didn't change the number, did I? No, no. So, y equals... Now, let's make... It was on your worksheet. Oh, I know. It's, See, I got it's, those questions. It's the one I didn't do because I was oh. terrified. I was well, like, I'm not going to risk doing that. You were no, terrified. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go 3x plus 2 make it equal to 0. Why did I take that? Because that's the that's that. Maya? Yeah. Why did I do that part? That's the part that's inside the value. Do you feel that question? I know how to do it. I minus 2, minus 2, 3x. If you don't know why, you don't know how. Okay. My opinion. Are you okay? Yeah, you divide by 3. Divide by 3, good. Okay. Yep. Okay, that tells me my x coordinate is the vertex. My y coordinate of the vertex is? Negative 2. Negative 2. Now I draw the graph. What is that positive 2 doing there then, other than to make us match in front of the absolute value? Well, that's how I, well, that's where I was able to solve for, for this part. That's what that 2 made this. You already had a 2, though. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have done anything. Now, you I'm going to put the 9 deal with this one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's okay. that there for? So we're going to go. <laughs> and y is negative 2. So I'm going to go over. Two thirds, negative two thirds, down two. There's my vertex. Now, here, I'm not going to go up 45 degrees. I'm going to go over two, or um, two over this. This is two over one. So I'm going to go up two over one. Up two over one. Oh, so you're just adding two new So my shape, slope this time is not 45 degrees. This slope over here is negative 2. This slope over here is positive 2. Okay, that makes sense. Can we do another one? Can we do another one? Yeah. I'm sure. It's all happening in the future. Well, yeah, because now that I understand, I'm a lot happier. Well, that, that's, that's part of learning. That's part of growing. <laughs> Is there any way that there would ever not be a number on the left side of the absolute value to the right? Or is there always going to be a number there? Over here? Yeah. Well. Because it's y, obviously. If it's not, it's just a zero. Yeah, and if, if, if there's nothing there, then it's the y coordinate is zero. Okay. I answered that question to myself. I already asked it. Good. Can I try to figure it out out loud? 
I'll let you do it kind of on your own. Nick would appreciate it, both of them. <laughs> Devin doesn't care. He, he, he's good at ignoring people. Are we done? Yeah. So, like, on this problem with the 3x plus 2, is it always going to be just like you take the opposite mm -hmm. of 2 and then you just put it over the 3? Is it always going to look like that? Well, always is a, a, a very confining thing. Um, are you always going to go in there and use solving it? Yes. Um, Well, it depends on what's inside there. So I can literally have anything in there. Okay. Let's, let's just take one thing at a time. As long as it's a, a simple um, two-step equation in there, yes. Which we're not going to get beyond. Not in this class. Okay. So my x-coordinate is negative. Seven halves. And your y is four. And my y coordinate of the vertex is four. Yes, sir. Okay. So. So. And I'm just gonna say this is negative seven halves. I'm not gonna try to put the tick marks on it. I don't have a, gra a fancy graph that the, that the computer drew up for me. I'm not gonna try to make it to scale. And then I'm going to go up here to 4. Okay, there's my vertex. Now, what do I know about the slope? It's negative 3 over 1. I, it's gonna, both of them are going to be negative. Yeah. But one's going to go in one direction, one's going to go the other direction. So my slope is going to be negative 3 and positive 3. Depends on which way I'm dealing with it. The negative 3 one is going to go this way. Nope, that's the positive one. Excuse me. That's the, there's the negative one. I'm done. Okay. Pass in your papers. Title this um, uh, Bell Work with today's date. Um, today is the 26th, I hope. Or my watch be wrong. My watch is never wrong. Unless it's wrong. <laughs> unless it's wrong. It's never wrong unless it's wrong. Then it's wrong. Um, let's just call it um, graphing absolute value. Huh? Well, it's bell work. That's what I'm going to do. Graphing absolute value. Okay, let's pass that in. Okay. Some of you aren't going to be here next time, right? Right, Devin? Well, you're going to be here. Yeah, I'll be here. I don't think we leave for like 11. I thought it was 10. So I don't remember who else. So. Okay. I can't well, be, be here. here way. Yeah, I can't be here. Because I can't have more than a 15 hour day driving. So I have to. I think you'd be ready for a test, but I'm not sure. I don't know how much review you need. It's a fine line there between giving you review and giving you um, busy work. If it's old fat and you, you know what to do and you're, you're just doing it again, then it's busy work. If, it's, you're, if you're still practicing and learning, then it's a good review. Okay.
Questions on the worksheet that we grabbed? Seventeen. So I have y equals three x negative three x minus one. Yeah. When you get a paper, I don't know, can you? Today I get a paper. You got legs? Uh, I don't have legs. We don't have holes above the mid thigh, so we're happy. Yeah, we're happy. Well, you're being so happy, you don't smile very much. I can't see you, but smile at all. I'm smiling. I could. I, I can see it in his eyes. I can't see it in your eyes. Well, I don't know if you have glasses. I don't either. Do you have glasses? She's a dead snap. I do have glasses. Huh? I do have glasses. Maybe, but I'm the one that can't see him. Right? Maybe I'm the one that needs glasses. Okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> You're going to switch to negative 3. That's what I'll do. It's going to be positive 3. I'm going to go negative 3x equals 0. Mm. Okay. Boy, divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. x equals 0. Negative 0 and positive 0 is the same thing. What's my y coordinate? So, x is 0, y is negative 1. Does it go up or down? Up. Up. 45 degrees, because there's no number out here. Glad you could make it. Who is she? No, oh, I didn't recognize her. Okay. Return back. Here once in a while. Okay, next one. That looks fun. I'm, actually seeing that. I'm glad he was your te good teacher today. I'll be the lousy teacher. You can be a good one. You were a good teacher, Mr. Antasso. I just got I confused. was. Did you hear that? I was. You a are teacher. a good teacher. One point in time. <laughs> At one point in your life, you were a great. <laughs> one point. I did a good job. One. Uh, I don't want to sound racist. Next question. Uh, let's do 20. 20. Let's go for 20. A little 20 mom, just a quick one. Okay, y equals the absolute value, 3x minus 2 plus 3. This looks very similar to someone we did just a few minutes ago. Okay, 3x minus 2 equals 0. 3x equals 2. x equals 2 thirds. Okay, so I'm being consistent. Yeah, you are negative being here, so this is going to be a positive. Yes. <laughs> okay, so my my vertex is at two thirds, three. Up or down? Up. It's That's gonna right. be up. Yeah, it's gonna be up. Is it gonna be at a right angle to each other? Uh, forty-five degrees. Forty-five degrees. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing telling me it's not going to be, so yeah, I would assume so. Over two-thirds, so yeah. there's one, there's two. 
One, two, three. I'll go ahead and do it somewhat to scale. I'm going to go over two thirds and up three. 45 degree, 45 degree. Done. Hey, that's what's in here. <laughs> Anybody else? No. Alright. <laughs> 18 is the same as 17. Dude. No, okay, but wouldn't it be but it's it's stays, same. it stays positive? It what would be your positive. vertex, Jake? My vertex? On 18. Your vert like your Y or your this Your vertex. Is, I don't remember what a vertex is. Negative zero. Negative zero? zero. It's positive two. Negative zero is the same thing. I just don't understand. I'm super confused. I don't know why. Usually I get this. I'm, I'm struggling, okay? But at least I'm asking questions. If no one else is, okay? I'm the one participating here. Is that how you put in the other time? Oh, that's sad. I figured it out, Mr. Antassel. Good. I just did it and I figured it out. I Good. understand. It took me 12 years, but I got it. You didn't show me this. <coughs> I marked it unexcused tardy. If you don't show me that, I, it's not. Yes, sir. 24. 24. Vertex. Okay. 2x plus 4 equals 0. Minus 4, minus 4. 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x equals negative 2. Okay. Now, what is the y coordinate? Zero. Zero. Because there's nothing being added to it out here. Okay. Negative two. Zero. Now, should I stretch something here? Now, because of this in here, this is actually my slope. It's not a 45 degree. Okay, so I'm going to go up to up to an overlap. Up to an overlap because of this in here, because it's going to be multiplied. Okay. Yeah, I told you wrong a minute ago. If it's in there, this is in here. It's uh, very steep. Shaking the I'm sorry, you told me everything I did was wrong, so now I have to erase everything. No, no, just learn, learn it for the future, okay? Well, I feel like I need to erase that. Okay, that's all right. Okay, next. We should be done then. Next worksheet. Can you have two of them? Yeah. One to 28. Maya. It was online, you're supposed to print it off.
Okay? Questions? Yes, sir. Can you do number 20? 20. I can try. So this is number 20, so we have 4 absolute values, negative 6x minus 3, opposed absolute value, plus 9, equals 93. Okay, I'm just solving for x. Now, I want to make it so that I get down to where I get down to where um, I just have an absolute value. I don't want to mess with anything inside the absolute value until I get rid of all that. So the first thing I'm going to do is minus 9, minus 9. 4 times negative 6x minus 3 equals 93 minus 9? 84. 84. Divide by 4, because that's what's outside of the absolute value. Okay, so now I have the absolute value of negative 6x minus 3 equals 84 divided by 4? 21. 21. Now I want to get rid of the absolute value. So I'm going to take the two possibilities. Negative 21, positive 21, 6x minus 3. So I got rid of the parentheses. And the two possibilities that can be in that parentheses. Now, essentially, I'm doing two equations from here on. That means I should get two answers. Is this possible? Yes, because this is a positive number. If this was a negative number right here, it's just, it's just not possible to do, because I can't take the absolute value and ever get a negative number at this point. This is where I find out if it's positive or not, possible or not. Plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Okay, that gives me negative 18 equals negative 6x equals 24. Divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, negative 6, 3 equals x equals negative 4. So my answer, I have two answers. So x can equal be positive 3 or negative 4. I'm done. Excuse me. <laughs> you have another one you want to see done? Um, 28. 28. Nine plus the absolute value. Eight and plus nine. Absolute value. Equal 24. I copy it right? I, it looks good to me, Mr. Okay, minus 9, because that's being added. Minus 9. 8 and? Plus 9. Thank you. Equals? 15. 15. So I take a positive 15 and a negative 15, and that equals 8 and plus 9. Minus 9 again. Negative 24. Done? Six. Six. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. Negative 3 equal n. 4. It can be negative 3 or positive 3 fourths. I'm done. Clear is crystal blue? Yes, yeah, sir. This is 22. 22.
yesterday I was taken away for calculus class and halfway looked down my video isn't video anymore. I'm about 10 minutes longer and looked down and I found out my I'm completely out of memory so you shut off. That's good. Which one? Twenty. Twenty-two. Sorry, my ears are kind of old and aging. Ten plus a lousy ten plus four absolute value nine a minus nine absolute value equals eighty-two. First, Nick. Divide by four. I'm dividing everything by four. Seventy-two divided by four is? Huh? Eighteen. Eighteen. A equals negative one and positive three. Positive three, amen. More? You know what you guys are telling me? You need more practice. Is that correct? You're not ready for a test? Bonnie, are you ready for a test next time? Maybe. Maybe? 17. Negative 7, absolute value. B over 9, close the absolute value, equals negative 7. So I'm going to Divide by negative 7. Divide by negative 7 because I'm taking negative 7 times the absolute value. That gives me b over 9 equals 1. Get rid of the absolute value. So it's negative 1 equals, equals positive 1. I take the two opposites. Now this is where the, those two branches come, comes in, okay? When you graph it, because you're taking two op op two opportunities, that's why they're going out in two different directions. B over nine. What came down to the variable is dividing by nine, so I'm going to times by nine. Times by nine. Times by nine. These cancel. So B equals positive nine times negative nine. I can write it that way. I don't have a problem with you write, writing your answer like this. Or you can go B equals negative 9 and positive 9. Okay? Okay, if you're done with that, pass it in. If you're not done with it, come in next time. You're done with any assignment you're done with, turn in.
No, sorry. I just assumed it was out here to turn it in. No? Okay. Now I want to make sure that what I said here was correct because I think I made a mistake in doing this. Let's make sure we have this clear. Sometimes I have to think too. Y equals the absolute value 3x plus 1. Okay, where's my vertex? Negative 1 third, comma, negative 1. Now, are, my, are they going to go up at a 90 degree angle to each other? Yes. No, because this is going to give me a slope of 3. It, it, it's both here and here. I, I think I, I said that wrong. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's an outside number. Well, it is an outside number, but it can also be here too. And I had to correct myself. Okay. So I'm going to go back one third and, and down one. So here's my vertex. And then I'm going to go up three over one, up three over one. So that is going to be very steep. So that three x plus. One, that's what the slope is? Yes. So the, the slope is going to be 3 on each side. It's going to be a positive 3 and a negative 3. Okay, so if that second number, and like if that was 3x plus 2, would, that, would it still be the same slope? Uh, yes. Okay. What do you do if there's a number outside of the... Then you're gonna, that, that's going to have... Like, the yeah. slope's going to be three. So. Slope's still going to be three, but like, that's going to change my vertex. It's not going to be. It's now my work vertex going to be negative one. No. Okay. What if the, there's numbers in both of them though? Um, or is that not like it? Or you're not doing that to um, I don't think I'll do that to you. Thank you. Then the slope would be one nine. Be nine over one. Oh, okay. Doing it twice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I won't. Think, I don't think I'm going to do that to you. Um, do you want this as a practice test or just another assignment? Uh, would prefer another assignment, Mr. Rosenhausen. Okay. Yes. I'm, 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 I can be flexible. I just don't. I just don't want to give you excessive work. Another fish piece of work. Another fish piece. Okay. No. I'm sorry for shaking the camera earlier. Okay. Are you talking to the desktop or the I'm talking to the iPad because I was shaking them earlier. Quit doing that. Well, I'm not shaking the table anymore. I was erasing stuff. That's why I'm shaking it. I'm going to move you over here so you can't make her quick. I'll sit next to Olivia. That's fine. I don't know if Olivia likes that. Me and Olivia are good friends. Oh, so. okay. I didn't know if Olivia was still thinking the boys had food. No, it's not that. Olivia, the boys have cooties? Yeah, they do. The boys definitely do have cooties, but... Olivia! Yeah? The boys have cooties? Yeah. 